Ethiopia is incredibly unique by many standards. Ethiopia's uniqueness is manifested through its ancient civilization, historical sites, and natural attractions. The mysterious Great Rift Valley crosses Ethiopia into two, creating many wonders, lakes, hills, and lowlands, active volcanoes, and volcanoes with chemical reactions. Very high mountains with chilly weather, very low place with unbearable hot weather. Situated at the equators, Ethiopia is a place where you can find 13 months of sunshine. UNESCO has inscribed a number of its natural and historical sites as world heritages. Ethiopia is one among few countries of the world with more than 3,000 plus years of history. It created its own governing system and civilization years before most countries were formed. Damat and Aksum civilizations existed long before the birth of Christ. The obelisk of Aksum, the castle of Fasilides, the walled city of Harar, the console landscape, the lower valley of Awash, the rock heron churches of Lalibala, the Tiya tales are not only Ethiopia's heritages now, rather they are the world of the whole world as they are inscribed by UNESCO. The introduction of Christianity and Islam into Ethiopia goes back almost to the emergence of the religions themselves. It's not only the cradle humankind, but also the center of human evolution, studies and research. According to figures from Ethiopian Central Statistical Agency, the country's population has reached more than 80 million. Ethiopia's population is very diverse. By establishing federalism, Ethiopia has managed to build a democratic system that embraces over 85 nations, nationalities and peoples to live in harmony and govern themselves. Ethiopia has also managed to enable these nations, nationalities and peoples live together by maintaining their unity and diversity while enjoying their heterogeneous culture and language and developing their socio-economic status in their respective states. The new federal system crafted nine regional states and two chartered city administrations as best ways to ensure self-rule of nations, nationalities and peoples of the country. According to the law of the land, the highest governmental power is bestowed upon the Prime Minister and the President serves at the head of the state. The capital of Ethiopia, Addis Ababa, is the seat of the African Union and the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa, as well as many international organizations. As a diplomatic hub of the continent, Addis Ababa is always busy with continental conferences and guests from around the world. It is not only Addis Ababa which is under steady dynamics, regional cities are also becoming spots of development. 
As a result, these cities are serving as alternative places to host regional meetings. Ethiopia is a country where you can find a mix of cultural, historical and natural wonders. Now, it has a huge potential in terms of investment with an increasing educated working force. It means a lot for the investment. Ethiopia embraces more than 15 million hectares of arable land. It is also referred as the water tower of the continent with its 110 billion cubic meters of water. There are 45 million people who are in the working age in the country. The geographical location of Ethiopia is very close to Europe and the Middle East which makes the country preferable for trade and investment. Given the country's investment potential, an increasing number of investors are attracted to doing business in Ethiopia. JCB has been operating in Ethiopia for a good many years. We at JCBC Ethiopia is a fantastic future of growth and development, especially in those sort of areas where they need our type of equipment. It's very, very satisfying to work here and be basically a pioneer. It's a fantastic market and we have a range of fantastic products that will ensure that JCB will be here today and tomorrow. Ethiopia's demographic advantage of a very large population coupled with the median age of 20. And that's the, the, the very key part of it as well. It's a very young population, educatable, deployable, affordable. Our decision to set up this multi-million uh, dollar plant in Ethiopia was informed first of all by the enabling environment the government of Ethiopia had actually put in, in place for investment. Proved by international financial institutions time and again, Ethiopia has been registering double-digit economic growth over the last 10 years. This week we travel to the Horn of Africa for a closer look at the investment opportunities and challenges in the East African nation of Ethiopia. From an economic point of view, Ethiopia is estimated by the IMF and by the Eco Economist Intelligence Unit to be one of the 10 fastest growing economies in the world in the next five years. Indeed, according to some estimates, it will be number three after only uh, China and India in terms of global growth, with an expected growth of over 8%. Landlocked in isolation, Ethiopia has a history of famine and food shortage, a scene that is rapidly transforming. According to the World Bank, Ethiopia's economy is forecast to grow by more than 10% over the next year, making it one of the best performers across the globe. With a growing GDP and blossoming middle class, Ethiopia may be poised to conquer poverty just yet. The African growth story is now well known, on average 5% a year for a decade. But one of its top performers and most populous markets, rising up investor agendas, is Ethiopia. The United Nations acknowledges Ethiopia's achievements in meeting targets said in the Millennium Development Goals, particularly primary education and basic health service coverage, ahead of the target year 2015. The growth and transformation plan that was designed in 2011 is bringing huge economic transformation across the nation. Over the last five years alone, 
Ethiopia has attracted four billion US dollars investment. transformation worked, but the The growth and transformation plan of the country aims to create a favorable environment for the overall economic transformation. As our country's economy basically depends on agriculture, the sector's change is mandatory. The sector is in transformation as our farmers are now using modern agriculture technologies and developing their skills. With the hope of supporting the investment flow and developmental activities in the country, the government is working massively to expand infrastructure and power supply. The country's road facility has now reached 100,000 kilometers from only 30,000 10 years ago. The road sector has entered a new phase of development with the building of extra comfort roads like Addis Adama Expressway. In addition to the recently operational Addis Ababa to Djibouti Railway, the country is in a move to construct rail network throughout the nation. Ethiopian Airlines is the fastest growing airline in Africa. With close to seven decades of operations, Ethiopian has become one of the continent's leading carriers and rivaled in efficiency and operational success. The flag carrier flies to more than 91 international destinations across five continents. In order to meet what the growing economy demands, Ethiopia produces more than 3,000 megawatts of power mainly from hydro and wind lean energy sources. Upon the completion of construction of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Hydropower Dam, the nation will add 6,000 megawatts to the national grid. Regarding telecom service, the country is committed to availing modern and state-of-the-art technologies to telecom customers. Currently, the country's telecom service coverage has reached 85% from only 45% few years back. Over the last five years alone, mobile phone subscribers have increased from 7 million to 24 million. Now it's possible to get direct mobile phone and internet network in every five kilometers. Mm -hmm. 